It's Beaver O'Clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beaver Town Brewery and it's a collaboration with Brasserie Dalassen in Belgium, in Brussels in Belgium, and it's a can of their Brattish Anglo Belge Pale Ale coming in at 6.5% ABV. Big fan of Beaver Town beers, big fan of Brasserie Dalassen. Let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Beer in the glass, we've got a very light, pale straw coloured ale. Good levels of carbonation, two to three finger white head. Hazy beer. I'm not surprised by that with the breweries involved. The current market, the current style. Everybody seems to be wanting to drink in hazy beer, which I'm a fan of. And then if you think of Belgium, there's lots of hazy beer in Belgium, so I'm not surprised at all that this beer is hazy. Uh, let's, let's see if we can get a drop more beer in the... in the glass. And let's get the aroma. First of all, before we get the aroma, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe.co.uk for sponsoring today's video. Uh, beers of Europe send me a few beers. I give beer reviews, uh, Beers of Europe a shout out. That's as far as it goes. Um, beers of Europe are a fantastic company with beers from literally all over the world. If you want to know more, check out the link in the description box of the video, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Let's get that aroma. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. It smells lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's quite hard to actually... I'm actually just a little bit... I don't know if I'm just daydreaming with just the, the fantastic aroma. Let's pull flavours as we get them. Spice, pepper, like an orangey, lemony, stroke grapefruity aroma all mixed together. Like a hybrid fruit of orange, lemon and grapefruit all mangled together. It's got a... <laughs> A, a tartness to it as well, a nice tartness. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, and that lovely. Belgian yeast, that's what I'm going to call it, the lovely Belgian yeast coming through. I think I'm slightly struggling with the beer, only mentally. Let me explain. It's got Beaver Town's branding all over it. It's, it's in a Beaver Town can and, and you almost expect... should never presume though, should you? But it's very hard not to presume. You know, we've all had these wonderful Imperial Stouts and IPAs and Pale Ales from Beaver Town coming out of these wonderful cans. But I'm just, just struggling a little bit because it's a very nice, very traditional kind of Belgian Pale Ale. But it's in this Beaver Town can. It's, it's, just, it's just playing with my mind a little bit. Fantastically drinkable, good levels of carbonation, biscuity, bready, jammy, tart like flavours, marmalade on rye, that could be a bit of a stretch, but yeah, it's slightly marmalade y, slightly kind of spicy rye. 
6.5% ABV, the drinkability is incredible. Yeah, I like it. I really do. I, I like it. I think it's a good beer. If it, it just took me a while, that's all. It just took me a moment just to get my head around what was going on in the beer. If Really, in a nutshell, if I want to top it all off, if I, if I was in a Belgian bar and somebody went, do you, want a, do you want a half? And I went, yeah, I'll have a half. <clears throat> Pardon me. And they went to the bar, come back with a half of something. You're in Belgium, you're in Brussels or Leuven or somewhere lovely like that. And you just go, this is nice because you're in Belgium. If you were to crush this can and chuck it away and pretend it never happened, it would be a perfect beer. Let's rate it. It's very nice, it's very drinkable. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I drink it again? Of course. Um, the, the alcohol by volume is hidden very well under that 6.5% ABV, the beer just, it just, it's that whole Belgian way of brewing. Um, I've drunk 8%, 9% Belgian beers before now and they're drinking like 4 or 5% pale ales. They just have this magic art of brewing beer. If you've not tried a Belgian beer, by the way, I really advise that you try and... You can get them in, in lots of different supermarkets wherever you are in the world. It's, they're famous for their beer and their french fries, the Belgium. Um, I'm going to rate it, I'm going to give it a very, very solid Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.